So I just wrote a blog post titled, Is This the End of Penny Stock Pump and Dumps? And I wanted to do a video just to explain a little bit further what's happening. And if you're uh, not subscribed to my blog, just go to uh, chrisdunn.com. And I actually have a new design coming down um, pretty soon. But anyway, I just want to talk about what happened, you know, and, and what penny stocks are and um, how people have been trading them for the past couple of years and what I think is the, the best plan of action going forward. So um, basically, guys, what has happened over the past few years, if you're not familiar with penny stocks and, and what penny stocks are, um, basically, you start with a shady company, you know, somebody who says they're going to come out with the latest and greatest coffee or, you know, marijuana product since it's becoming legalized or the next, you know, mining company that's that's sitting on a billion dollars worth of gold, you know, whatever. But basically what you do is you take a company public and because they're not a real company, what they have to do is actually list their stock over the counter or on the pink sheet pink sheets market, um, you know, they can't end up on the NASDAQ or um, the New York Stock Exchange or the American Stock Exchange because they're really not a real company. Um, you know, they're just maybe a group of guys and or ladies who are sitting around saying, look, let's take our company public and then promote our company so the stock price goes up and then we make them, you know, a ton of money. And there have been people that have done this successfully and made tens and tens of millions of dollars. Um, and just some examples of how this works. You know, this is a uh, one from a year or two ago. PWEI was a really popular one. Um, and what happened was you can see the first buying activity came in back here, um, you know, around two to seven cents, probably some insiders. And then what they did is throughout this area right here, this ramp up, this is where they started actually promoting the stock, which drove prices up. And then what happens is you have mom and pop investors who get email spam. So coming back here, you know, what these guys do is they set up opt-in pages like this where it, you know it looks super super sketchy and scammy right you know you have penny picks gold and sign up for a free newsletter it's tougher than ever to locate explosive penny stocks and you know they they try all kind of different um copy and and just basically want to get you to opt in so whenever they get paid to promote a stock they can actually email you and you'll buy hopefully somewhere up in here you know, they bought down here when the stock was cheap, right? And then what happened was they get ignorant investors to buy all the way through here, you know, and they, throughout all this, they're sending emails, look how much our stock has doubled. You know, it went from 10 or yeah, it went from 10 cents to almost a dollar or, you know, it's up 500 or a thousand percent. You better get in before it goes to $50. And so these ignorant people start buying up here. And then what happens is whenever the stock starts to lose momentum, the insiders, you know, the promoters, the, the owners of the company, they'll just dump. So they're literally buying down here and they're selling as the stock is going up. And then once the buyers dry up, you basically see this massive crash. And um, I'll look at another example, POTG. Um, this is another uh, another pretty famous one that, you know, started down here again around 10, 20 cents, ramped up to over a dollar, had its first panic, recovered a little bit. And so throughout here, they're going, okay, you know, look guys, it sold off. You have a chance to get a wholesale price. It, you know, and then whenever it goes from 80 to a dollar, then they're like, oh man, you know, it's up 10, 20, 30 percent. They keep sending emails, and then once it starts to fade out again, they can't hold it up, and look where it goes. It goes right back to where it started. And so, again, I'm not a penny stock guru. I don't teach how to trade this stuff. I just understand it, and I want to kind of alert you guys as to what's happening. Um, we actually, uh, a few weeks ago, we got news that one of the biggest promoters, so Awesome Penny Stocks was, as a lot of you probably know, one of the, the biggest promoters, and it was this really scummy 26-year-old guy who basically, um, according to his ex-wife, amassed a fortune of over $100 million by you know running these businesses. And, and this is the way that I believe she explained it. Um, he acquires directly and indirectly large stakes in penny stocks okay so he'll be the one that will acquire the stock down here around 10 cents 
and then he will promote these penny stocks through multiple websites like Awesome Penny Stocks and then causing the price to run up so that he can dump with enormous profits. It's like, you know, I think the easiest way or used to be the easiest way for somebody to step in, pump it up and then see it crash. And so the old school way before this decade or before, you know, the 2000s, um, if you saw the movie um, – the boiler room and now we have the other movie with Leonardo DiCaprio the Wolf of Wall Street coming out talks about how Jordan Belfort was making 50 million bucks a year by doing essentially the same thing you know promoting stocks but the way that they structured it was differently it was boiler room they were actually making phone calls um, where now you know in the the internet era everybody just gets emails but so anyway what what happened here is awesome penny stocks closed down this guy skipped town he went to um, he went to Lebanon, I believe, I, or they granted him. I don't know if he's from there. I don't know. He's he's basically running from the FBI and the Canadian tax authority, whoever that is, because apparently he only um, actually uh, reported about 48k in income when he was making tens and tens of millions of dollars. So um, here's what I think is happening. Okay, so I think that penny stock email promotions are becoming less effective, and um, the reason for that is because thanks to the internet, you know, more people have access to better information. And, you know, after you burn tens or hundreds of thousands of people, you know, if you don't have, you know, the, the sheep, the herd coming in to buy as this, to drive the stock up, then it's, it's going to fail. And so I think what happened is his promotions were getting less and less effective. He realized, you know, shit, I'm not making any money. I just better skip town before, um, before the FBI kicks in my door and just take my money and run. And obviously he left his ex-wife behind, which I think is trying to get half of the, you know, the profits anyway. I don't know. Read the article. Read my blog post. It's pretty funny. But here's what I think's next. If you're going to be a day trader, um, you know, I'm not saying that all penny stock promotions are dead. Let me just clarify that right now. I mean, I'm not saying that you're not going to be able to make money in penny stocks. I personally don't trade um, OTCs that much. I trade um, real companies that trade mostly on the NASDAQ um, just because I like the liquidity and, and I don't think it's a good idea to rely on any type of market manipulation, be it in your favor or against you, to um, trade. It's just not sustainable. It's not scalable. And um, so – um, the other point I want to make is be an independent thinker. You know, nobody can make you successful. No guru, no newsletter, and certainly a software, no software program. Even though we have at the E-Mini Academy, we have software strategies that we actually provide for our students. Just having software is not going to make you successful. You have to go through the process of learning to trade. Just like I talked about in uh, in my last blog post here. Um, you know, you ha trading is all about a process. If you focus on just making money, you're going to actually lose money. Um, but the other day we nailed this, um, this stock breakout on MWW. And one thing I talk about is how, you know, trading rooms and alert services and newsletters and all these things can be helpful. But at the end of the day, it's really about trading the right types of stocks, using a winning strategy, and then understanding risk management and becoming independent, being able to think for yourself. And um, so I hope this is helpful, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or uh, comments. Um, feel free to like up the video, share it, and um, stay profitable, friends.